try again. A little more power. Yeah! <laughs> there you go. Your second goal ever. Yeah, that's two. And we're going to get another one? Yeah. All right, get another one. Get it in there. Put it in the hole. They, they still see you. It's still recording. Let's go back here. It's still going. We're still good. Yep. Go back so, and boom. me. Put it me. Do it. His third one. Here it goes. Right here. Oh, so close. Oh. That was like two inches from it. There it is. Oh. Ready? Oh. <laughs> Bye. That's three. You have three. Um, what? Three. Yeah. three. All right. Let's see if Daddy can make one. Yeah. What's up guys? My name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet Channel. This is Cohen. And we're out it here. Is your yeah. head. Don't hurt my head. Okay, shoot it. Oh, so Ooh, close. Anyhow, we're out here at football practice. We got soccer ball practice going on too. And uh, Cohen and I are just here shooting some hoops. So, uh, yeah, it's been pretty wild lately maybe we'll get into a uh, in a little bit maybe after this practice we'll get into a little uh, bit about where I've been what's been happening what's been going on um, and how I've been able to maintain my uploads with all this crazy illness I've been dealing with this entire year all the way back to February this entire year what, what? look do this just wipe it off now you're good. Give him a thumbs up. Drop that thumbs up on the video right now real quick. Hey, yeah, we know you did it. You We're waiting. Did. For you. Do it. You know, that was awesome. Yeah, you Wiped off the dust. The dirt. Just rub a little bit of dirt in it. And now he's good to go. Yeah, you want to <laughs> dash. Yep, do it. Wow. Do it. You. What's up guys, this is uh, I know a day or two after, actually it's a day after practice, the clips you guys seen beforehand, but right now I'm playing a little bit of Fortnite and uh, if you guys want to join in playing Fortnite, let me know, hit me up on Instagram and uh, I might I might, I might give you our gamer tag. Oh, there's, a, there's an air. We have an air. Oh, I'm gonna turn the TV down. All right, we got the TV muted. I can hear it through the headset. And I'm just gonna go in here. On, oh, I don't wanna play duos. Normally I play a lot of duos. Um, right now I'm just gonna play solo. So, uh, anyhow. I wanted to talk to you guys about like what's really been going on, um, what, why my videos seem here and there, and in all honesty, it's it's because I on my weekends and the weeknights that I feel good, I'm recording and I'm recording as much as I can, because here lately, ah, put me on duos again. Huh. This is weird. Oh. Well, I don't know. Why does it put me on duos? I guess let's restart Fortnite. So, um, yeah, what I was, back to what I was saying is, I. I record as much as I possibly can in my free time, after, like after work on the days that I feel good, on the weekends that I feel good, because here lately, well this entire year, I've been everything ex except for healthy. I, I've been tested for Corona twice now. I've gone to the Corona building itself about five or six times here or there. 
and it's all it's all due to my sinuses. I don't know if you guys deal with sinuses or are familiar with them, but man, let me tell you, when that pressure builds up in your face, oh, it, for me it gets to the point where it's so bad I can't even really see. So, for me as a programmer, as a web developer, I can't sit in front of a computer. I can't even type. You can't sit there all day and do that. And on top of that, you know now works got well you got to have your temp check you got to have your symptom check and i mean pretty much every one of those symptoms which is why i've been sent to the corona building so often because you know they're trying to just protect everybody and keep everybody safe but like man i've been dealing with sinuses and allergies my entire life i can tell you right now it's sinus it's not corona well we're still got a syngillium all right, fine. So, you know, then you go get tested for Corona, and I've had to wait two or three weeks now. I've been on quarantine three times, maybe more. Three times I can recall right now. <laughs> and what really sucks about all this is I don't get paid for any of these days that I'm missing. And uh, you know, I, I get it. Work doesn't. Work doesn't like it. I don't like it. Nobody likes it, but you know what? It's life. And that's that's just what we got to do, you know? You got to do what you got to do. And especially as a single father, I got to make sure that not only am I healthy, but my boys are healthy. I got to make sure that I'm healthy enough to take care of them. And uh, sometimes work falls on the wayside. It, it is what it is. And that's... You know, you just got to take it as it is. So, uh, if, right right now, honestly, I feel pretty bad about work. But at the same time, I'm like, honestly, this isn't what I want to do for a living. Uh, it was great for the 10 year or not 10 years, 7 years. It's about 7 years now that I've been doing this. It's been great. But I tell you what, I, uh, I finally hit that point in life where I figured out what I want to do. And I, I, I am a YouTuber. I'm going to be a YouTuber. I, I'm going to find a way to make it on YouTube. And with your guys' help, we're growing so fast that I, it's blowing my mind. And, uh, you know, I can't, I really, I just can't wait for the day that it comes when I can go into work, wherever I'm working. I'm like, hey, you know what, here's my two weeks. I'm done, and they go, well, where are you going? Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a YouTuber, full-time YouTuber now. And honestly, I, I kind of am a full-time YouTuber right now. I just don't make any money from it. And that's totally fine, because I, honestly, I, I enjoy making these videos. It's pretty hard to uh, keep up on the daily uploads when you're sick like this. Because I really don't want to upload videos and be like, hey, guys. I feel like poop today. It, uh, if you guys want to see that, I, I mean, I'll show you I'm sick. I'm still sick right now. I'm feeling a little better. Still not where I need to be, but uh, I can get some stuff done this weekend, I think. So uh, we've got a part I need to install. We've got cars and coffee. We've got a, a uh, honors flight um, event. We have a back the blue vent back the blue event like we got a lot a lot of car stuff this weekend on top of all that i've got soccer we've got football and i couldn't be more excited so it's gonna be a a busy weekend and uh, i'll take you guys along with us a little bit some of this stuff so don't worry if you feel like you're missing out i will definitely record some of these events maybe we'll see some awesome cars kind of like that Lamborghini in the last one I absolutely love that thing even though it was a replica you know what that's still awesome because at the end of the day that's something not everybody gets to see and the boys now have seen two and their first one they got a sit in because it was a replica car now most people with those kind of cars are going to be like oh hey your kid can sit in here but if I owned one, and it was a real one, I would do it. And if you want to help me make that happen, go ahead and let me know, because I'll, I'll take a Countach.
Heck yeah, dude. I'd let anybody and everybody sit in it. Because some of us are blessed to be able to live that kind of lifestyle. And I feel like it's up to us to help encourage the next generation of car owners and have them help others, you know. All right, I gotta get this pistol. You know, it's like, um, I just uh, watched one of my Corvette life, Chris's videos, and he's talking about the same thing of how, you know, it's it's about helping the the people that aren't so fortunate be able to, oh, is that going better? It is. Be able to experience something that they might not otherwise experience. And at my Cars and Coffee events, that's what we're all about. I mean, if there's a little kid coming up, even if there's an adult and they're like, hey, I, you know, I'm talking about the Corvette. Yeah, I've never sat in one. And I'm like, get in. What are you waiting on? Like, shoot, I don't mind. You know, to me, yeah, it's my Corvette. And it, it is a Corvette, but it's just a Corvette. That That's the thing. <laughs> there's not much else to it, so... It's just a car at the end of the day. Let's let some other people enjoy the, the thrill that I get to enjoy. So, uh, this is going to be super long, but uh, that's alright. Ooh, some jugs. If you guys want to see me actually playing some Fortnite, uh, let me know down below. And maybe I can find a way to record my Fortnite and share that with you. Because, honestly, the boys and I have started playing... Oh, here's a dude. We're going to kill... Oh! Oh, one shot. Dead. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, uh, the boys and I, we have been playing... We play at least one round together. It'll be the boys and then me. One of the boys and me. Playing. And getting shot at. She probably ran up. Oh, no. Pistol time. Yeah, got him with the pistol. So we'll play one round a day. It's actually really a lot of fun. And I've I've gotten pretty good. Honestly, at first I was like, man, I don't like Fortnite. This whole building thing. I, no, I'm not about that life. I need to go the other way now. It looks like we're going to head towards this way. And so, you know, I got a lot better. And now, I actually really enjoy this game. The boys and I bought the Battle Pass. And so far, we've made it up to level 65, and I have one challenge from week 5 to get. All the other ones are completed, because either I've done it or the boys have done it. And quite frankly, we've kicked some booty at it. Yay! Got another one! That's what I like about this game. I totally need health, and they did not have any. But that's okay, because I have some bandages. They almost killed me. <laughs> Alright guys, now we're at like 12 minutes of this video. It's probably going to be a 15 minute video. Um, actually, I'm going to upload this for my my... Storytelling Sunday video, so uh, I guess that works out, right? Those are typically pretty long videos. Um, I'm also, real quick, this week I want to have the talk about why I'm saying that don't chase the money, because I've had quite a few people that are like, hey, I like that comment, but what do you mean? What do you mean don't chase the money? 
So I want to touch base on that a little bit. It just goes back to this whole, this year, even though it's been really one of the toughest years, I think it's taught me a lot. And uh, I couldn't be, I couldn't be happier. It's been really, really hard. I don't, I don't want to come off as I'm making it easy. It isn't definitely not easy. Some people have it worse than me. And, uh, you know, I'm fortunate enough to have, to have YouTube and have all of you guys supporting me and continuing to encourage me and um, motivate me to keep going, keep trying, keep keep chasing my dream, you know? Um, and we're, lately, I've been trying to change my mindset too and do a little better things just here and there in life. And uh, it seems to be, I think it's coming together. So I hope that I can share that journey with you and. You know, I'll make a video about that too. We have plenty of some days ahead of us, and we have plenty of other days too that I can start doing that because, let's be honest, since I've been sick and not getting paid, been really tight on money, I don't have the extra money to be buying car parts. And this one car part that I got, I've been waiting on for like two months. <laughs> so, I'm going to get back to Fortnite. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Drop some comments down below. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button. And we'll catch you in the next video. I'm going to turn around and let you watch some Fortnite. Whoa, that gun sounds weird. That's why I need is that make it. She's like, nah, bro. I'm good.